Hey guys, Modern Wildman here and it's time for a gear review. So we're going to do a review today of the Lucky Duck Junior. Now this is a motion decoy, some people call it a spinner. Um, I picked up two of these. Uh, we got a Drake and the Hen. I uh, got them from Rogers on a Christmas deal. Uh, I've hunted with them five or six hunts. Um, we've hunted the river, we've hunted fields a couple times. Um, we've hunted ponds, and uh, so far, I like them. Um, they, they're, they've been dependable. Um, they've, they're well-made. So the plastic here, uh, it's, it's a well-made material. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's got nice detailing, the feather detailing there. Um, the way these come when you unbox them, the feet, the wing nuts, those things uh, are not attached, and they're in here. They're in the back of the decoy. So if you unbox your Lucky Duck, these are Lucky Duck Juniors, anyway. Uh, you unbox them and you're concerned about you don't have any feet, look inside. That's where they're at. So at any rate, we've got this little uh, bungee cord that holds the uh, compartment shut. Works well. You can put that on with gloves on, cold fingers. It's easy to get a hold of and you grab a hold of it right there. Pops right off. Um, well, well designed. The switch for the on-off is right here on the bottom. You can turn it on, turn it off. Um, works well. The motor's in here, and the battery pack is right in here. Now, one of the things I want to show you about this battery pack that I really like is that this battery pack takes AA batteries. So. This set of batteries has all five or six of those hunts on it. Um, we haven't hunted all day, but we have hunted quite a few uh, shooting light till noon or maybe two o'clock till dark, um, and they're not ready to be changed. So if you're wondering how many hunts can you get out of a set of batteries, I'm sure it's going to depend on temperature, the type of batteries you got, how old they are, those things. Um, but so far, I've done really well with that. Uh, I can carry an extra set of batteries with me, no problem, in the blind bag. I like that. I can just throw some double A's in my blind bag, and if, uh, if we run out of battery, I can swap them out. I don't have to recharge anything. Um, also comes with a spare. So each Lucky Duck comes with two of the, uh, the battery carriages, if you will. Um, it's also got Velcro right here. So if we look inside... You have Velcro right there. You can reach him in, Velcro that in, snap him shut, we're ready to go. Um, so one of the things that I really like about this Lucky Duck are the wings. Let's take a look at the wings. So here's a set of wings. Obviously two Lucky Ducks came with two wings. These wings are uh, they're plastic and uh, brown on one side white on the other. That gives us that lash effect we're looking for. Um, solid shaft inside here. This is solid shaft that's pinned inside here. And we've got a pretty strong magnet right here. And that's another feature that I really like is um, there's no set screws, there's no pins, there's no uh, nothing to drop in the water besides the wing itself. So I don't think this is going to float. I haven't tried it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but if you're Imagine the dark, your headlamp on, uh, you're in your waders, and your fingers are cold, maybe you got gloves on, and you're trying to put this thing in. There's a slot. It's keyed, and I think you can see it right there. And the wing has a key that fits in that slot up there on the end. So we just kind of line that up. There we go. Now I can pull on that, and the magnet's not going to let it go. I'll turn that over. Get a good look at it. So we'll uh, pop them both on there. Again, we just line that up, snap him in. Just give him a little turn there. I missed. There we go. Okay. So now we can turn him on. Like I said, this set of batteries has five or six hunts on it. Uh, they're still going strong. So that's that action we're looking for from. Uh, up in the air, we want those mallards, gadwalls, widgeons, pintails, whatever it is. We want them to fly over 
see that flash and think, hey, there's ducks down there. That's where I want to be. Um, we would pop those wings off. And we'll show you. I got to pull on them pretty good. There we go. Let that magnet release. Another feature that I really like about this uh, is the mounting post. So it comes set up with three sections here. We've got the uh, the bottom section, which is goes into the dirt, the mud, the riverbed, the whatever. Um, and we've got these other sections here, so we can pin this guy together. If we run him all the way up, we can push on this, push him down into the uh, the mud, the muck, the bottom of the pond, or the lake, the river, the marsh, whatever. Um, so that'll get my guy um, 40 inches or so, um, give or take, depending on how deep you're going to push him in there. Um, you can get him up pretty high. If we're on a field hunt, it's late season, and maybe we're worried about those ducks being a little bit wary, we can sure drop him down easy enough. And here we go. Pop him in there like that. Put that in where we think we need those ducks to land in our spread. And uh, we can easily get him just eight inches or even less off the corn stubble or whatever it is you happen to be hunting. And uh, yeah, I really I like that feature. Um, these are made with a uh, spring loaded little knob there. And uh, the, the pipe is made heavy enough. Um, and uh, I, I, I like that design. I think it's going to serve me well. We'll see how they do um, after a season or two under the belt. Um, like I said, the plastic is uh, it's, it's heavy made. It's got good detail. Uh, I like the finish. The only issue that I've had with this set of Lucky Ducks, and that was out of the box, is the switch on the hen did not want to work out of the box. Uh, I took the switch apart. I cleaned up the... Uh, the contacts, I put it back together and it went to working. Uh, I was not able to get the little rubber cover, protector cover, back on after I did that. Um, but all that aside, I think probably if I had sent that back in, they would have taken care of it no problem, but uh, I wanted to hunt with them. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Lucky Duck decoys. We've got uh, more reviews in the works of some gear, some equipment. If you've got some equipment that uh, you'd like to see a review on, let me know. Give me a shout. Uh, check out the blog, at Wild, Modern Wild Man, and uh, check us out on Twitter, Facebook. Um, appreciate the view. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Like the video, and we'll talk to you next time. Stay wild.